Bristol City emerge. Leeds will be all in white. Bristol City in their red and white strip. The Robins. Ethan Ampadu leads Leeds out. Where's the armband again for them this evening? Leeds having added to the Welsh contingent uh, in the last 24 hours with the arrival of the man you heard from in the build-up, Connor Roberts, but not involved in the squad for this game this evening. And um, he will be a valuable addition, no doubt. But in his absence, Leeds will have to do something a little bit different, not only in his absence, but uh, no Dan James, of course, in the starting eleven. He's probably injured for another game. Uh, still no Pascal Strauch either so changes have been required ongoing process that one and those who come in have got to step up to the plate they certainly do and um, you know it's an opportunity for those to come in and perform but competition for places is suddenly what we've got and that's what we've always wanted a competitive squad players that are playing need to play well to stay in that in the team Dan James is a miss because I think he's been superb this season you know, he really has and he's He's had a goals and assists to his game. He's confident, he's playing, he works ever so hard for the team as well defensively, and he will be a miss. Hence why Nyonto and Jaden Anthony haven't had much game time, but this is their chance, this is their opportunity. Just ask Junior Firpo. Byram has been superb this season, made that left-back spot his own, gets injured once or twice, Firpo comes in, he does well, and he's got the spot. So, Nyonto, there's the blueprint, go out there and perform. Yeah, Nonto is the man who gets the opportunity from the off this evening. Saw Jade Anthony score that uh, excellent goal in the FA Cup last weekend. He's back on the bench. And as Nonto gets a little hug out there off Glenn Kamara, back in the starting 11. Um, he will know, I think, that there'll be a little bit of extra scrutiny on him and his performance this evening because his aim and his e the exercise for him is to keep Dan James out when he's fit again, isn't it? Well, she's going to be extremely difficult because you know, James certainly has been right up there with the likes of Somerville and Jorginho as uh, a road on, actually, and Purdue. You know what? I could go on, couldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's some really good players out there and James has certainly been in that, that top bracket. So Nonto has to play well, but we all remember when he first burst on the scene, came to Leeds United, my goodness, he was absolutely fantastic. Ripped it up, scored some great goals. And then, of course, what happened after that? certainly wasn't the best for him as a young man in his career but he's here he's wanting to stay he's wanting to play now's the time to step up that performance level we're almost ready for the off here at Ashton Gate um, referee has moved into the centre circle and Leeds United will be kicking in this first half from left to right and the travelling fans are behind the goal guarded by Ilan Melier and of course, with Ampadu now just slotting back in at centre half, Gurev and Kamara will be the holding two midfielders. Ball comes out over the near side touchline straight from the kickoff. And Leeds United have a throw in, which Archie Gray will take. Still see the rugby markings on this Ashton Gate pitch, it's a shared facility. Jorginho spreads the ball to Furpo. On it goes to Kamara. Kamara can't get there, but the pass goes straight to Gruev. And now Jorginho in that Bristol City half. In the centre circle, Gruev to Archie Gray. Back into Gruev, and now wide to Nonto. Nonto, oh, that is a loose ball that had to be defended by Ethan Ampadu. That's pretty much um, on the basis of what we've just been talking about seconds before, wasn't it, really? It certainly is. I mean, that was was loose. I like the way though Gruev is zipping that ball about even if it's a nice easy pass the firmer you hit it the more time that your teammate has got them to control it and deal with it but at the moment we're certainly knocking the ball around quite well it's up in the air Archie Gray with a header headed forward though Mackie Wells will chase Ampadu will pursue as well Wells gets there first gives it away to Archie Gray Nonto has it taken off his toes and out for a lead throw in well, we know about below. Naki Wells, don't we? He's a bit of a thorn in our side, I have to say. He's quick and sharp. We'll run those channels. There was a good example of it. Nonto to Jorginho. Pushes it back to Ethan Ampadu. And then square right to Joe Rodon. 
Back it goes to Ampadu on the edge of the Leeds box. He gives it to Melier inside the area. Crystal City 13th in the table on 38 points currently. The home form is 1-6, drawn 3, lost 5. Not scored too many here, 18. Obviously not conceded too many either in terms of 16. And they've had spells in the season when they've been in fine form. And at the moment, they're in not so good form, actually. Um, because although they've made progress in the FA Cup, they have a replay themselves coming up in midweek against Nottingham Forest. Their uh, last league win was a Boxing Day win at Watford. As they have possession inside their own half currently. Ball goes back to goalkeeper O'Leary for his first touch. Play through the midfield. Gray's got to come back and defend this one, which he does successfully against the uh, oncoming figure of the fullback Ross McCrory. And he stays down under the uh, impact of that challenge from Archie Gray. Yeah, no, I think it's uh, I think it's Pring. I think that's gone down. But yeah, you're right. It was a uh, good move actually from Bristol, you know, out from the back through the middle, first time in behind Archie Gray, but he knew it was coming got there and makes a sliding challenge the challenge is absolutely fine it must have been then bring the collision afterwards where he's clearly got caught slightly and twisted possibly an ankle yep still down on the ground pring as you uh, suggest so the physio is on to uh, administer treatment archie gray stands in proximity in conversation with crystal players and the ball when it comes back into play will come from a throw in on this near side but we're uh, some way off that still as Pring continues to have treatment down below last time Leeds came to this ground last time I came to this ground was the very first game of what turned out to be the promotion season 4th of August and uh, Leeds came out on top with a, an impressive performance that really served notice of what was to lie ahead in that campaign Beat Bristol City by three goals to one. So that was a happy trip home on a Sunday afternoon. Fans behind the goal to our left are hoping for a happy trip home on a Friday night. Makes that long trip that much shorter, I have to say. Look around the stadium. It's nice and tidy, isn't it? They've uh, really upgraded it. New bits here and there, and it's looking good. Yeah, big investment in the uh, in the stadium inside and outside the ground as well there's fan zones uh, there's a Guinness bar away to our left hand side knew you'd spot that <laughs> walk, had to walk past it <laughs> home side had possession with Dickey into the centre circle then back into his own half giving away to Kamara now Somerville on the charge forward for Leeds United still going Crescencio Somerville plays it out to Bamford who's in the penalty area Tries to get his cross in. It comes off the head of a defender. And as a consequence, it drops into the hands of Max O'Leary, the keeper. And Leeds' first attempt at an attack is brought to a conclusion. Yeah, that's going to be important once we break it up in that midfield area. And Somerville gets on the ball. He just charges at the defence. Good ball to Bamford. Bamford actually probably should have played it back to Somerville. Tried to get Nyonto in in the far post. Ampadu chases in a covering position defensively for Leeds. All the way back to the byline. And his ball is clipped only into the path of Pring. Back on his feet now and OK. Bristol City in the penalty area. Shot is blocked before it gets to goal by Rodon. And it comes on the near side. Touchline for a Bristol City throw in. Home supporters are encouraged by that. Certainly a, a good move. Jason Knight running into a really good area inside the box. Pring has the ball for the throw in. Gets the return. And then it's played up to the edge of the penalty area where Archie Gray defends four leads. Gray rolls it out to Nonto. Still deep in the leads half. Gets it on to Jorginho, who is up to his usual stuff there and gets fouled. Fairly standard Jorginho moment as he um, spins away from a challenge and then gets dragged to the ground and leads have a free kick. Spins away from a challenge and gets dragged to the ground. Whoever heard that before? <laughs> Amazing. The man, the way he controls and uses that strength. And you're right, spins away. Defender, all he can do is just try and drag him down and foul him, and that's what happened there. 
Melier out of his box with the ball to Rodon. And back to Melier again on the edge of the deep. Melier looks forward, weighs up his options, clips it out to this near side to Gray. He just hooks it forward, left footed. Bamford comes across, and the final touch is off the defender in front of him there, Viner. And that's a Leeds throw. Yeah, it was going out, and Viner just got a last touch to it, which was uh, was good. Throw to us. Can we test the keeper? Because as much as our neat and tidy play has been good, nothing for the keeper to do yet. Nonto can't keep that one in as he's trying to get his foot round it to get it into the penalty area. Rolls away from him, goes behind for a goal kick. And um, so Leeds retreat back towards the halfway line as we're in the eighth minute of this game at Ashton Gate. And uh, it's nil nil. Again, just settling into some sort of pattern here. Yeah, it is. We certainly look like the, the dominant team. We will have plenty of possession, but always got to be mindful of the counters from the home side. They've already got forward once or twice pretty well. Firpo goes to the far touchline as the ball rolls ahead of him out of play. And Junior Firpo picks it up and prepares to get the game going again with a throw in. Back to Ampadu. On to Gueff and then back to Firpo. And then it's headed back towards the edge of the penalty area. Road on clears. And then Ampadu clears with a stooping header. And Kamara puts it back into the box. Ampadu goes back to Melier. Melier happy just to put his foot through it. Over the head of Somerville. Gruev. Ball up in the air a lot. As Kamara nods it on again towards looking for Bamford. Drops down finally to the turf. And Gray picks it up in a square of space on this near side. Looks forward and then looks back. Gives it to Rodon. And Joe Rodon with a ball that goes further left to Ethan Ampadu. Nice ball. Roll through for Bamford. Comes back for Gruiff. Halfway line. Space here for Jorginho. Sets himself up for the run forward. Just plays it ahead of Bamford, but it's cleared behind and Leeds will have a first corner kick. Certainly a better play. This time we've managed to get the ball into Bamford's feet. The heavy touch back. Thought it might have been for Somerville. Instead, Gruiff picked it up, but when he found Jorginho, had the strength and acceleration to get away from his man. Corner kick. Let's see what we can do here. Gruff is on corner kicking duties from this near side, so it could be an in-swinger. In it goes towards a near post. Bamford stoops, hits his head to it, back to goal, gives it back to Kamara. And it comes out for Rodon, and Rodon tries to stab a shot towards goal, but he gets his foot right underneath the ball, and you heard the reaction from the home supporters as it cleared the crossbar. Well, Bamford's tried to flick on that corner, but it's gone so low. I think it's hit him on the nose. He's looking at the referee at the moment. Yeah, I think he's uh, hurt himself. But the ball was dipping, so it was never going to be able to be flicked on. He eventually then gets hold of it, plays it back out, and Rodon had half a chance, didn't he? But that was a, a centre-half shot, shall we say. <laughs> shot is a loose description. Yeah. Header there from Rodon, and then Kamara, and then Ampadu just puts it straight up in the air. Drops just inside the Bristol City half. The big men there in red to win it back. It's rolled forward by Tanner, and then it goes out of play over on the far side touchline for a Bristol City throw in. Not quite got Somerville into the game yet, but pockets of space where he drifts inside that left. Hasn't quite managed to get the ball to his feet just yet. The ball is played back towards the edge of the Bristol City penalty area. Home side, hold possession there. And then it goes back to keeper O'Leary. And then it goes across the back to Dickey. He gets a return ball on the edge. Bamford is just shuffling between the two players, but uh, unable to make any real impact in terms of the pressure on. Except that when O'Leary does play it forward, he plays it straight to touch just over the halfway line for a Leeds throw. Yeah, if, if Bristol can only go back to their keeper, you'd be absolutely fine with that. If you could pick up the, the centre halves, who will clearly try and pass forward or run with it forward. And there O'Leary trying to go for a long diagonal, just boots it out. Ray with the throw in down the line. Humphrey looked like he's been held back there. The referee saw nothing wrong. The lead striker glances in the direction of the match official, but um, gets nothing from him. 
Stephen Martin is the man in charge of this game this evening. Now, Naki Wells into the penalty area, tries a shot, but Ampadu slides across his path and diverts the ball behind for a corner kick. Good defending from Ethan Ampadu as Naki Wells made inroads into the Leeds penalty area. Excellent defending. Knew exactly what Naki Wells was trying to do, go on the outside, but that again was just a, a long punt from the keeper. Pring beats Archie in the air. And once again, in the channel, Naki Wells just sprints, does well, but couldn't get past Ampadu. Now comes to this near side to take the corner kick. Bristol's first corner kick in response to Leeds having theirs a little earlier. Wells in front of the travelling fans. Hands on hips. Incident in the game a few seasons back at QPR is uh, probably still in the memory of some of those behind the goal. As Wells prepares to take the corner now. Good shape on that. Melier punches out from under the crossbar. Gets it a long way from goal on this occasion. And it ends up on the halfway line where Somerville. Somerville won the ball back well. And Somerville is through here. Somerville to try and go. Somerville tried to chip the keeper. And O'Leary stuck his arm up in the air. And he blocked the ball on its way to goal. And that was an incredible chance for Leeds United who come again. And it's played out wide to Nonto. Low cross into the middle. And they're all waiting in the middle. It spins over the head of Bamford. Comes out to the near side touchline. Sudden flurry of activity around that Bristol City penalty area and Leeds hold the ball in an attacking position really the reflection ultimately will be surely Leeds should be a goal ahead because it was Somerville against the keeper there Gruev tries to get Leeds going again though now Firpo plays it to the left side of the penalty area to Nonto Nonto steps inside still going shapes for the shot it's blocked comes back out spinning to Ampadu now Gruev for Leeds to come once more Firpo on the left gives it back to midfielder Gruev. Short ball to Kamara. And Gruev then to Rodan. All in the Bristol City half. Ampadu. Just outside the centre circle. Rodon's in it. Has the ball. Rodon holds it up. Shuffles it back into his own half to Ampadu. Leeds may be prepared to start again here with Firpo on the far side coming back to Ampadu. And Ampadu indeed does go all the way back to Melier. Heck of a chance, wasn't it? Really was a good chance. I just wonder why he's tried to go for the chip when you're one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He's in no-man's land as well. Just go either side. The speed that he's got, the balance, send the keeper one way, go the other, and just slide it in. But he's gone for a lob. Didn't get it over the keeper. He yeah, took it quite early, didn't he? He did. Really? And maybe could have carried, just carried on running and then taken on the keeper with the ball at his feet. Instead, tried to put it over him. He's a tallish figure. But Leeds have got the ball in a good position again here with Nonto. Nonto puts a cross straight into the hands of the keeper at the near post. And Bamford was waiting at the far. That wasn't the ball. That wasn't the ball, you're right, because Bamford did go to the far. You're never going to get it across that height. Some of you just pulled out slightly as well. As the stadium rises and the applause goes up. Tragic, tragic incident in Bristol in the last few days where two young lads, Mason and Max, two big football fans, were killed in the city and um, as you would imagine in such circumstances all sides of the ground are joining in with a reflection in the form of applause for what was a horrific tragedy and this will carry on a little while I think two minutes it's scheduled for here as the game goes on Joe Rodon plays the ball back to Melier Melier waits and looks forward. He gives the ball to Ampadu. Plays it into the Bristol City half. Somerville couldn't quite get it to Jorginho. And the ball is um, back with the Leeds player now into Bamford. And Bamford just behind Kamara has to go back to try and get possession again for Leeds. And uh, Bamford's pass not quite where no. Kamara wanted it there. No, certainly not. Just need to be in front of him. And then we were, we were away, but good play on the left hand side by Somerville. We just managed to nick the ball back and off we go again. And Padu checks back. Plays it into Melier in the penalty area. He's in the D now. Plays it to Rodon. As the applause is ongoing. Long ball forward. Bamford will chase. Expect the defender to get there first. Viner does. 
And it's um, then pushed back into O'Leary. And O'Leary pings them all out to Pring. Pring takes it down on his thigh. Plays it backwards to James, the skipper. And Bristol City is building from the back here as the ball is up to the halfway line. As the applause dies down, the roar goes up. Leeds trying to win possession on that far touchline, but uh, foul by Gruiff. So that will be a Bristol City free kick just inside the Leeds half. Well, we're slowly getting on top, but haven't been able to take our chances. And so that's not going to be the story of the game, but certainly Bristol City defending solidly, but we are finding just spaces in that midfield area, and we're winning the ball back in good areas, but got to watch for the counter-attack. It's pretty rudimentary. I think a lot of the time it's out to Pring here, the number three, the left back. The keeper's pinged a couple of a good ones, a few bad ones as well, but not really playing through us, so that's a good sign. When the two teams met earlier in the season, the game that leads one at Ellen Road, 2-1. Nigel Pearson was the man in charge of Bristol City. It didn't last too much longer after that, and Liam Manning was brought in. It was an interesting appointment. And um, Manning is the person trust entrusted with the job of well I guess pushing Bristol City up the table, Jorginho trying to push Leeds forward onto Bamford keeper makes the save, blocked it almost with his knees there, it was a lovely ball swept into the path of Patrick Bamford who shot first time and the goalkeeper behind it was able to knock it away, great play great play, Jorginho of course at the heart of it link up play was beautiful and the, the pass to Bamford was just saying go on hit me first time, he did Hit it too well, straight at the keeper. And he's making chances, but not taking chances. 19 minutes gone, nil-nil here at Ashton Gate. Bristol City in possession in the Leeds half with Pring. Bamford back in his own half to put pressure on the man in possession. And that's James. And then the final touch off the Bristol City man out for a Leeds United throw in. Daniel Farker advances to the edge of his technical area. Liam Manning to his right. And then Archie Gray beyond Bamford. So the ball is picked up on the halfway line by Williams. Now James and then back to Viner. And then cut to the left to Dickey. And into the middle once more to Viner. And Padu goes in but um, can't win the ball for Leeds. Knight has it instead for the home team. Misplaced ball. Furpo does well to read it. Good touch. Now yep. Monto has got a good run at the Bristol City back line here. Nonto can carry it up to the edge of the penalty area. Nonto cuts to the into the D. Tees it up for Kamara. Helps on to Somerville. Somerville on his left foot. Rising shot over the crossbar. Just thought for a minute, Nonto, the ball was on to Somerville earlier. He was in more space. He's just actually saying exactly that to him now. But once he delayed and delayed and delayed, defenders then got back across. And eventually, when Somerville did get it, he had a man right up against him. Another good chance created by Leeds United. Just get that um, slight nervousness. We talked at half-time in the game against Plymouth last weekend about how many opportunities Leeds had made, but only the one goal. Here, not even that to show for it. And Bristol City attack now with Pring, just outside the penalty area. Crosses in to the edge of the box. Gruff will head it away. Well, Nonto's conceded possession dangerously. Bristol City in the box, low cross into the middle. Will need clearing by Ampadu. Wells tried to tee it up for himself there and just gave Ampadu the chance to clear it away, but uh, not what was required from Nonto on that occasion. No, just got to be careful. He's defending in the box. He takes a touch, but it bounces high and allowing Pring to get in. Ampadu leans into a challenge unfairly, says the referee. And um, he'll be spoken to just at a least talking. here. Yeah, yeah, just a talking to. It's one of those where Ampadu goes towards the referee and goes, yep, yeah, sorry, ref, I'm OK. Don't give me a yellow card. So the free kick will be to Bristol City in the Leeds half. And just a little reminder to Leeds that um, when, we, when we spoke with Jorginho, he did a really good pre-match interview, I thought. But he talked about the importance of concentration. And that was maybe a little example of it there. Not making it easy for the opposition. And I think that's right, because of all the good play, you can easily be undone by just one lack of concentration in your own box making a mistake. So Leeds are defending just outside the penalty area here as the free kick is 
sent in now. Dips down to this near side of the box and is delivered back towards the edge of the centre circle. Bristol City still in possession. Tanner. And then it's given away. Oh, if Kamara could have trapped that one, there was potential for a counter-attack. He couldn't, and Bristol City have the ball back in Leeds territory. Uh, Somerville steps in well to force it back towards the halfway line, but still the home side hold on to the ball. Somehow, too bizarre. First free kick and then a ball across. Just very strange, going nowhere near our 18-yard line, but we pick it up again. There's a phrase in football, telegraphed the pass. We've just seen a great example of it there from Dickey. And now Jorginho is suddenly in the penalty area behind Somerville when it's cut back. Nonto has it on the edge of the box, looking for space for a shot. Gives it back to Gruev. And Gruev just knocks it wide to Archie Gray. Jorginho was bearing down on goal then. He was right in the penalty area and he cut the ball back, but it was behind teammates and not into the path of anyone to slot it in because that's what it would have been from that position. Ah, oh, it's another great opportunity. Now we've got Firpo playing right back somehow. Archie Gray's over there at left back, but Jorginho, the way he run away from Rob Dickey, he's deceptively quick, isn't he, Jorginho? Yeah, great touch, great pace. And um, put it all together, and it's quite a combination. Rodon in the centre circle. Short ball back to Ampadu. On it goes to Somerville. Leeds creating the big moments in this game, but we haven't had the, the real big moment yet. The opening goal. Somerville with Gray. Gives it back to Gruiff. All this is going on in the Bristol City half. Now in the centre circle with Kamara in possession now. Just back into his own half to Rodon. Leeds prepared to go back to go forward. And all the way back indeed to Melier on the edge of the area. Melier just the square ball. Rodon is under a little pressure from Wells, so goes back to the goalkeeper. Gives it back to Rodon, back to the goalkeeper. And then Melier goes long. And Jorginho has made the run over the top, and it's taken down by Jorginho. And just as he was shaping to perhaps chip the goalkeeper there, it was a defensive challenge that just took the ball away from him at the key moment. And Jorginho, as a consequence, stays down in the box. And um, the game goes on. Well, it was fantastic control from Jorginho. Plucks it out of the air with his right foot and then tries to lob it back over the defender. But of course, by doing that, that just allowed the keeper to come out and punch the ball. And in doing so, he has gone straight through the back of Jorginho. That's what Jorginho is saying to the referee. But I think the goalkeeper has every right to go for that one. Hands still in the small of his back there, Jorginho, still feeling the pain. And um, managed to get straight through the middle there off Melier's long ball. Couldn't quite apply the coup de grace in terms of the finish. Leeds are in possession with Rodon and Ampadu in combination at the back. It's already a few half chances now, isn't it, Bryn, that we haven't quite taken advantage of. Kamara in that Bristol City half, now Nonto on the right side. Further down the line and in field to Archie Gray, just outside the area. Archie Gray holds it up, gives it back to Nonto. Archie Gray back on this right-hand side and in possession. Rolls it back to Kamara. Kamara makes a little space for himself. And again. And then plays it across the box to Jorginho, to Firpo. Firpo on the left foot. Plays it. Oh, I think he thought about the shot for the moment there, didn't he, Firpo? And then he tried to roll it into the path of Bamford instead. And it almost felt like he was caught in two minds because he put too much on the pass and it went behind for a goal. Well, he fooled Bamford as well because for all the world, it looked like Firpo had got the ball out of his feet and was going to shoot. Bamford thought the same, was trying to run in possibly for a something off the goalkeeper and instead he passed it out to the left-hand side but we're certainly on top we seem to be comfortably getting the ball in the last third we're finding bits and pieces of space now can we just find that final bit of quality to put one in the back of the net Melier round about the penalty spot long straight ball down the middle works last time not so this time but Kamara tries to pick it up on the halfway line robbed by Williams who goes back to the keeper and O'Leary just launches it forward. Firpo knots it down. Gruff chases but won't get there on the halfway line. Wells 
works the ball wide to the right and then it comes back into Viner and then across the back for Bristol City to Dickey Viner again in possession here plays it out wide to the right back and the right back will set off to cross the halfway line now poor ball as it turned out trying to play a channel ball for Naki Wells but he hadn't made the run and Melier goes and just gathers and uh, works it up to the edge of the penalty area to Ampadu last 10 minutes there's no doubt that they've really pushed Bristol City back any time they have got the ball they've given it away cheaply they're not getting the ball through their thirds of the pitch whatsoever so we are we are dominating but the scoreline still says 0-0 Melier in the deep out to Gray this near side touchline then Rodon back into Melier plays it round the uh, oncoming Bristol City midfielder to Rodon well, Conway has just sprinted towards the keeper, thinking the rest of his team are there closing down, but they're not. Great ball from Nonto into the path of a on-running Archie Gray. Nonto is wide, but Gray comes in field. Actually, maybe regretting that decision now because couldn't find Jorginho and possession in a good position was conceded. Nonto goes to put pressure on Dickey on the edge of the area. Viner plays it forwards, given away straight to Furpo. Leeds can come again with Kamara, helped on to Somerville, now Bamford tucks it back into the path of Furpo onto Somerville a short distance away Somerville looks forward short ball to his left to Kamara to the edge of the area now Glenn Kamara line of red shirts in front of him gives it to Jorginho and Jorginho I think was expecting to play the 1-2 yeah there. well uh, Furpo as well Furpo was you know making the overlap he saw him start but of course as soon as he put his head down to play the pass Furpo stopped and it all looks a little bit silly unfortunately he played it blind didn't he in yeah. the anticipation of the run being made but when it wasn't and it hadn't been he just spun out of play for a goal kick and uh, Jorginho with a big shake of the head in response just got to be patient keep doing what we're doing keep playing it a nice high tempo and eventually other chances will come but we have to take one Griff out to Gray on this near side helped on again to Griff and now Nonto he's pushed back and just kicks the ball at Archie Gray really there comes off his shins for a Bristol City throw in almost on the halfway line Dickey goes back to Viner Viner and then back from the uh, right back Tanner to O'Leary up into the Leeds half Gray chases the ball back towards his own penalty area he nods it down so that Melier can pick it up and he rolls it out to the left side of the penalty area to Ethan Ampadu. Back into the box to Ilan Melier. Melier with the left foot plays it up into the Bristol City half. Some of the rise as well. Final touch off Tanner doesn't quite take it out of play. So Furpo picks it up on the far touch line. Comes back to Gruiff. And then he comes back to Rodon. And Rodon out to his right to Gray. Gray lets the ball run across his body and that just gives the opportunity for Pring to nip in and clear the ball into touch. Yeah, the ball wasn't quite at the feet of Archie Gray. Once he looked up, certainly Pring flew out there pretty quickly. He makes a good challenge, but only three at the back for Bristol City. I'm not sure who's picking up Jorginho exactly, but he's finding space. So is Bamford here as the ball is played over his shoulder on the edge of the penalty area. Bamford holds it up, plays it into Kamara. Kamara with his back to goal, gives it to Bamford, then Jorginho. Jorginho twists and turns, tries to make his way through the crowd of red shirts. Unsuccessfully as it turned out, Kamara tried to play the ball into his path. It was blocked, leads with Gray, nodding it down, trying to find Kamara once more. Given away, Bristol City have the ball midway inside their own half and can... Well, they were going to think about a counter-attack there, but it was a terrible ball out straight to Somerville. Wow. Joe Williams. I mean, they just can't get their passing going at all, can they, Bristol City? Of course, we are pressurising them well, making them make mistakes, but you expect a, a little bit better from the home side. That's two or three passes now, when they could have broken out. They've given it back to us. Groove in the centre circle is dragged down. Leads have a free kick. Taken quickly, short to Somerville. Knocked back to Ampadu. And then wide left to Furpo. Infield to Somerville. 
onto Jorginho. Back to Somerville. Oh. Now there's a bit of space. Somerville's into the penalty area. Looking goalward. Stumbles a little. Recovers and the ball is just knocked away from him and behind for Leeds corner. It's a wonderful one-two. Jorginho and Somerville. Really good play. Bristol City think they've got them tucked up near the line. But quick one-two and they're away. And you're right, unfortunately. Just stumbled at the wrong time. Defender got a toe into the ball. Corner kick. Somerville has gone across the far side to take it. Lewis comes short. Somerville goes into the penalty area. Nice shape on that. Well, it was curling in towards goal, but it was also curling in to the hands of the goalkeeper, as it turned out. Yeah, who actually caught it in his midriff because it dropped down. We had players at the near post, far post, but no one near the keeper. So O'Leary drops the ball to the ground, plays it to Viner. Leads pressure just outside the penalty area. Just will deal with it. And it's played up to the uh, figure of Ross McCrory over on that right side. Wing Max pushing right up. Uh, well, he is. McCrory is anyway. Well, they Maybe are. And, so yeah, and well, Pring is as well at, at times. But McCrory there, he's received it on his chest with his back towards goal, which you know, a wing back, that's what you don't want. He couldn't do much with it, just hoisted it on, but hoisted it straight out of play. So. They, they can't find any sort of space or rhythm in that midfield area to try and move the ball forward. Gray for Leeds. On to Nonto. Return ball. And then Gray just puts into space for Bamford to get after. Viner. Oh, he's beaten him. Bamford's moving into the penalty area on this right side. Plays the ball in. Comes in for Jorginho. And his shot goalwards is blocked on its way in. And it goes up off the defender, over the crossbar and behind and leads so, so close to the opening goal there. He should have scored. He should have scored. He just needed to lift it over slightly, the keeper's legs. Keeper should have had no chance with that one. And after the ball was crossed in, defender didn't clear it, and it sat up just nicely for Jorginho to run onto it, and surely just to tuck it into the net, but straight at the keeper, straight at his legs, and another chance. Unfortunately, it goes begging. It's only five yards out. I think that should be in the back of the net. That's probably the best of the bunch, that yeah. one, isn't it? Right in front of goal. And um, thwarted. So Leeds do have a corner, but it could have been better. Gruff ready to take it. There's been a delay for a treatment for Viner. He's OK. Taken short to Monto. Goes across the edge of the box to Somerville. Oh, my. And then Somerville plays it in between Nonto and Gruev and it goes straight into touch. And everybody looks at each other and heads are scratched. The whole passing was awful. It was all a yard off. That wasn't good. The pass to Somerville wasn't good. And he passed it to no one. That wasn't good. No doubt it was a training ground free kick that went wrong. Uh, yeah. That will uh, need a little more work next week, perhaps. Not that Leeds are going to have much time on the training ground with a trip to Plymouth to accommodate on Tuesday and we like that for the next couple of weeks in a way the uh, home game next Saturday and then the big week with the two trips we talked about to Swansea and Plymouth in the league Furpo back it into Ampadu now Melier 36th minute, still no score here at Ashton Gate, but Leeds the chance count is beginning to rise. I'm not quite sure how there isn't a scoreline because clinical Leeds are three up unfortunately at the moment we're still all square. Bamford in the Bristol City half plays it to Furpo, does well with the first challenge, offers enough of an opportunity for the defender with the second to get it up to the halfway line Rodon defends, now Bamford Bamford out wide to Somerville. Take it up the edge of the penalty area. Into the penalty area indeed. Somerville, two in front of him. Checks, waits, plays it through the middle of them. Jorginho gives it back to Somerville. Somerville rolls it into the middle. Bamford away from goal. Jorginho goes down. And the referee looks and looks hard and gives nothing. My first look, I thought, boy, there must be a penalty. However, I'm thinking clearly the defender must have got a piece of the ball. It's great. 1-2's play and Bamford gives it to Jorginho really difficult to tell and the only thing I'm thinking then the reaction of the players yes they reacted a little but not as much as if it was a stonewall penalty 
So the game goes on. Ampdu, defensive header against Wells. Wells gets it away, but Rodon's done really well to help his central defensive partner out there. He comes in and makes the challenge. Somerville looked like he was fouled. That's a foul. In the centre circle, nothing given. So Bristol City emerge with possession. Have it on that right-hand side with McCrory down the line. Comes back in to midfield to James. Back into his own half by McCrory and then further back to Viner. Leads push up. Dickey to James on the halfway line now. The ball is played wide to the right side. Just in stays in play. And um, it's switched from Williams out towards this left side and Dickey. And now right on the touchline is Pring. Bristol City working their way forwards here. Level with the edge of the Leeds box. Pring manages just to knock it back into Conway onto the edge of the penalty area. Will 1 2 play. Flag is up far side. There's an offside. Bristol Man had stepped quite a way beyond the line. And the ball came into his path and tried to roll it back into a teammate. The flag was raised far side. Yeah, good defensive line at the back. Conway, certainly a yard or two offside rather than drop back in. They just stood up when the pass came to him. Certainly offside. I'm not sure Bristol City can believe their luck at the moment. That they're, they're still at nil-nil. Get to half-time like this, they will, uh, yeah, certainly think they bought a lucky ticket, but we need to take our chances at times this season. That's kind of what we have said, saying that we've scored a load of goals, but imagine how many we could have had. Long ball over the top is just ahead of Somerville, so it's a catch for the goalkeeper. Waste no time in throwing it out. Bristol City move it forwards. And uh, get to the halfway line and beyond it. With the ball over on that far side with Knight. And then it's put back into Viner in his own half. And Dickey plays the ball into space. Pring will chase. Gray will get there first. He's aware that the route back to goalkeeper Melier has been cut off. So lovely ball. Clipped forward into Nonto. Really good defending there from Archie Gray. Just a quiet little moment that um, showed the quality. Really did composure. That young man has bundles of composure. And that was a good example of it. Leeds have a free kick. Foul on Nonto. Midway inside the Leeds half. Griff with an easy pass to Rodon. Across the back to Ampadu and back to Rodon. So we move into the 40th minute here at Ashton Gate. Rodon back to Melier. Still nil-nil. Melier with the ball outside the D for Leeds United. The runners go. Melier was thinking of putting it over the top. He didn't, so they all had to stop and come back again. And uh, Rodon is in possession now. He's forced to go back by Wells to the goalkeeper. Just with straight ball for Gruev. Actually, he had a bit of space if he turned quickly there. But he's worked it into a pocket for Kamara anyway on the halfway line. Somerville back to Kamara. Leeds will keep possession with Ampadu. The, the long straight ball is actually a good ploy because the, the back three are, are trying to push up near the, the centre circle. Any time they, they do go above that, you know, acres of space in over them. Leeds continue to swap passes in their defensive position. Ampadu uh, on the ball now. He goes long beyond Jorginho, but it might drop for Bamford. It does. If he can control it on his thigh, uh, he can't. Not properly anyway, and it ball rolls off him and out for a Bristol City throw in. Hmm. That was all a bit bizarre, wasn't it? He seemed to control it and pass it out to the invisible man over there, which uh, went straight out for a throw in. So Bristol have the ball. And um, Leeds drop back into their own half. As it's flicked on down that left-hand touchline, Kamara nods it onto Pruiff and gets it back off him. Jorginho does his thing again. And then his well he's gone to ground he's got back up again and then Firpo goes to ground and somehow in the midst of all that not quite sure how Leeds players going down left right and centre Bristol City get a free kick yeah, that was all very odd that was again a, a remarkable bit of skill from Jorginho who tried something uh, pretty special as he always does he lost it but as he always does tries to get it back and I think in that lunge that's when it all kind of kicked off free kick was given for it but Firpo suddenly went down as well he's back on his feet, he's okay, didn't need treatment um, Bristol City 
ready to take the free kick that gets the game going once more. And um, Dickey, the centre half, is in possession. Liner gets beyond Bamford. Good challenge by Gruith, halfway line, played quickly forward just behind Bamford from Kamara. One Bristol City have made that mistake so many times, haven't they? Trying to pass it, pass it into that midfield area and straight. We just pick it up. Really good closing down, whether it's Gruev or Kamara. And then we attack them. Leeds have a free kick. A foul as Kamara went to challenge for a header. Taking it short square to Kamara. Wide left side to Firpo. Back it comes to Glenn Kamara. Now Gruev back to the halfway line to Ampadu. And Ampadu will check back and then turn right to Rodon. Rodon closed down. Works it out to Archie Gray. On to Nonto. All very tight. Nonto can't keep the ball in play. And, <coughs> excuse me. Will be a Bristol City throw in. Yeah, that occasion. Actually, a good closing down by Bristol City. Forcing us into a mistake. Nonto thinks it did not go out. Hard to tell from where we are, but Rev Assistant said it did. Daniel Farker maybe agrees. He's in long conversation with the fourth official. Liam Manning patrolling the edge of his technical area. Hands in pockets. As the ball is hurled down the near side touchline. Rodon delivers it back out to play. So that will be another Bristol City throw in. Inside the final two minutes of the uh, stipulated 45 in this first half. Still nil nil. Ball in the hands of Pring now. And um, he will prepare to throw the ball deeper into that Leeds half. Where's he going? A long way up the wow. touchline. Where is he going? Where the ball went out, really. Great. Well, he's not it into touch. Now that definitely is a long way further forward. And uh, what is that line in rugby union? The, call it the 22? Don't ask me. <laughs> well, you're Australian. You should know. <laughs> um but anyway, whatever it's called, that's where the throw-in's going to come in from. Nonto. Suspicion of handball about the clearance into touch there, but the uh, referee didn't see it. It's a throw-in to Bristol City anyway. They go backwards into their own half. Rain drifts in uh, off the, the river, which isn't too far away from the ground here. As Ampadu defends well inside his own penalty area. Lovely clearance as well, which brings Somerville into the game. And then the flag is raised. Forward. Back for an offside position. As soon as it was played forward, Somerville was in opposition's half and came back to collect the ball. In his own half? Uh, sorry, no, he was in Bristol City's half, just a yard or so, then came back into his own half. But the ball was kicked. He was offside. I'm going to have to go and look at that one later. Furpo on the edge of the penalty area has committed a foul Ooh. in a dangerous position. It's um, right on the edge of the box, this one. Junior Furpo just caught wrong side of the ball and dragged his man down. And now Leeds will have big defending to do in the final two minutes, the added time two minutes at the end of this first half. We've seen Furpo make that sort of challenge before where... Just cuts inside quickly. Timing of the tackle isn't a good one. Leeds fans actually don't agree, so maybe he got a piece of the ball, but whatever it is, it's just outside the 18-yard box. Really good area for Bristol City. So Leeds have an anxious moment ahead here. There's a, a wall lined up in front of the ball. It's looking like it's going to be Williams currently over it to take it although Pring has come to join him now and then maybe Pring is now favourite because maybe Pring is the man who can swing it in um, as Williams will go out Williams it is, plays it in, heads go up in the middle and Somerville clears to the edge of the box shot comes back in, takes a deflection goalwards and that deflection is off a red shirt and that will be a goal kick and Leeds have got through an anxious moment certainly was anxious because that could so easily have dropped to a Bristol City player. Instead, fortunately, we were able to clear it and when the shot came back in, it smacked against their own player. So Melier goes to retrieve the ball and then prepares to play it up into the Bristol City half. 
an action which um, should see us somewhere close to the conclusion of this first half. Beyond Bamford, headed into touch, leads throw in. Archie Gray will get the ball and throw it back to Joe Rodon. Rodon will go across the back to Ethan Ampadu. Comes back to Rodon again. Then back to Ampadu. Seconds tick down towards the end of the added time period. And right on time, the referee puts the whistle to the lips and brings the first half to its conclusion. So as Leeds head towards the tunnel, I think the reflection will be that really, really, they should be in front in this game. You're absolutely right. I think Daniel Farke will be uh, pleased on the one hand, but very disappointed on the other, because we should be two or three ahead, and you can't keep playing extremely well like that, have all those chances, and not take them. Because eventually, the home side will be on top for a five, ten minute period. Eventually, they will get a chance. But we've had so many chances, we should have already been two or three up. So, disappointing. Certainly, Somerville had a great chance where I thought he could have gone around the keeper rather than try to lob him. Uh, Jorginho, again, he's only five yards out, couldn't get it past the keeper either. I've had so many times where we've got into really good areas of the pitch and haven't been able to take advantage of it. But we're playing well, we're in control, we're dominant. I would say it's a, a really good performance, apart from the goals are missing. So that's the element that needs to be added in the second half. Leeds United are all square here. It's Bristol City nil, Leeds United nil. And Patrick Mumford plays the ball back to Gruff. And wide to Archie Gray it goes. And back it comes to Rodon. Still plenty in the home crowd who are not yet back in their seats. All the empty space behind the goal to our right-hand side. Wasn't an awful lot to excite them in truth in that first half. Uh, Leeds fans who are now seeing their play, their team kicking towards them in this second half will also be hoping for a bit better. Yes, let's hope that makes the difference because there's no doubt we had two or three very good chances to get our noses in front but didn't take them. We don't want to pay for that. We want to keep doing the same thing, keep producing chances but take one Melier well out of his penalty area plays it left footed into the Bristol half over the head of Jorginho and um, Pring and it goes out for a Bristol City throw in Pring it is who goes to take it looks down that far side touchline as the travelling fans find their voices Gray with a header on to Bamford. Trying to take it down high in the air. Jorginho just puts it up back up in the air. Somerville buzzing around, but it's cleared away by McCrory. Ampadu on the halfway line loops a header to this near side touchline of Furpo. And his ball is beyond Kamara. And delivered back towards the halfway line. Gruev with a header to Kamara once more. Tight to his back a couple of players. Furpo and Gruev combine to bring the ball out of that uh, cluttered area and into a position of more space where uh, Furpo is back in possession again on this near side puts the ball in field, Bamford lets it run and Nonto picks it up behind and Nonto can get into the penalty area Nonto puts the ball beyond the dive of the keeper and the mass celebrations break out behind that goal what a start to the second half Nonto on target, Bristol City nil, Leeds United 1 oh wonderful Finally, finally, a good play is finished off with a ball in the back of the net. And as Nyonto, special goal for him as well, celebrates with the Legion of fans at that end. But really good ball when it gets played in. The dummy was superb, allowing Nyonto to get on the ball. A couple of touches onto his left-hand side. Found plenty of space. Hit it hard. Didn't go into the corner, but... It was enough to get past the keeper, who was diving to his right. Ends up pretty central in the back of the net. Somerville and Nyonto still hugging. <laughs> They're mates. Hey, carry on with those hugs. Don't mind seeing them. Beautiful bromance out there <laughs> on the pitch. And uh, lots of love behind the goal as well. Leeds United have just the start required to this second period. Two and a bit minutes in. Leeds get the opening goal. Deservedly so as well, isn't it? No doubt Daniel Fark will be delighted, whatever he said at half-time. 
it is important that when you are on top, you do get your goal. But we didn't do that in the first half. Now we have. But can we keep continuing to press, keep controlling the game, keep dominating? And maybe score another. Ampadu goes back to Melier. Puts it up long and high. And Jorginho once wrestled away from it there. Uh, fairly, says the referee. Kamara delivers wide. Leeds have got good shape about them as they move forward here in the Bristol City half. Kamara infield to Jorginho. Ran into a challenge but still managed to get the ball to Kamara. Now Gray. On it goes again to Jorginho. Nice close control from Jorginho. And now delivers a ball out to this left-hand side where Firpo has a bit of space and time. In it goes to Somerville. Back to Firpo. He it was who threaded the ball through, which eventually found its way into the path of Nonto in a brilliant position. Nonto with a really good finish. Ball wide, it goes to Archie Gray. Midway inside the Bristol City half. Nonto has come to help him. Kamara short of Nonto. Has the ball back on that far touchline. Kamara gets it to Gruev. Gruev looks forward, rolls it out to Bamford. Oh, Bamford. Can't be much in that. Offside go uh, flag up on the far side, right on the edge of the penalty area. We have a good view of it from where we sit. Uh, assistant, though, felt that he was just beyond. I think he was just beyond. He then tried to just wait for the defender to catch up with him, but the ball from Gruev was played just a little too early. O'Leary comes out of this penalty area. That's the noise you want to hear. As the Leeds fans loud and proud behind the goal. Nonto commits a foul in his own half, so Leeds will have to drop back and defend this one. It's uh, midway inside, just in from the far touch line. Yeah, foul on Cam Pring, who gets a free kick for his troubles. And they're just taking their time, sending the big guys up right on the edge of the box. We're all lined up on the 18 yard line. So Leeds have the defensive duties to do now as Bristol City try and create something from this set-piece opportunity in the Leeds half. Uh, eight. Into the penalty area, edge of the penalty area, actually. It swings away from the box. It's nodded down and picked up by Somerville. Now there's a break on for Leeds. Bodies racing forward. Somerville straight through the middle. Kamara into the penalty area. Kamara clips it beyond the keeper and just past the post as well. And there was a final touch on its way out off a Bristol City person. And that means it will be a Leeds corner kick. But really, again, what would you say? But Leeds should surely be further in front. Well, that should have been another goal. Simple as that. It was an awful free kick initially from Bristol City. Nowhere near the box. And when they tried to play it back across the middle of the pitch, yet again, we pick it up. And it's like the Alamo. We just attack two and three players going forward. And the option was Jorginho to the left, Kamara to the right. It went right. Unfortunately, couldn't quite squeeze it home. Griff's corner curled into the penalty area, headed away. Out towards his near side where Somerville comes across to beat Wells to the ball. Still has it, Somerville. Curls the ball into the edge of the penalty area. Ampadu pushes it back to Nonto. Nonto out to this near side to Firpo. First time ball in field. It's a little fortuitous that that finds Somerville, I suspect, there. He'll tell you he meant it. He has the ball again now, Junior Furpo. Gives it back to Ampadu. If he does tell you he meant it, he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> but we do retain possession right on the right-hand side now. Gray further on to Bamford. Continues his run. Bamford gives it to him. Level with the edge of the box. Tries to get a cross in. I think he tried to whip that one, didn't he, Archie Gray? But it, instead of coming in, it went out. And indeed, it goes out of play. Uh, well, it's gone behind the goal for the goal kick, and then it came out over the near side. Touchdown as well, but it's a goal kick to Bristol City. Bristol City at the moment look like a team that they're, they're waiting for the, the knockout blow. They're waiting for that second goal against them. They're really struggling to get anything forward. They're allowing us a bit of time as well in the front positions. We're winning the ball back again well. This time, just free kick away. That was unfortunate. Yep. Um, Bristol City... Have won a free kick in the Leeds half. Leeds a little too impetuous to try and get the ball back quickly there. So now everyone has to drop back. They take it short, Bristol, and go back towards the halfway line. And further into their own half indeed. 54 minutes gone. 
as the ball comes out over this near side touchline. And look at the reaction there of Ross McCrory. He's furious with his teammate for what was a poor ball, admittedly, but it's a, a very um, animated and visible reaction from one teammate to another. Well, I think if you're a Bristol City fan, at least you're happy to see a reaction from, from someone out there because they're not passing the ball well. And no doubt McCrory there was livid with Joe Williams, who just put it straight into touch. Ball goes up in the air. Bamford battling away, as is Jorginho. Kamara will get to it. Plays it into space, and Nonto will collect it and roll it off to Archie Gray on the halfway line. Leeds beginning to move forward now in numbers. Kamara stops things and goes back into his own half to Rodon. Now Gruiff back to Kamara again. Kamara back into Rodon. And Rodon looks wide, right side to Gray. Back it comes for Kamara. Kamara back in to the path of Ampadu. Ampadu under a little pressure goes back to Melier. He controls and then just plays it over the top. Jorginho was in an offside position, so he couldn't go and get involved. But uh, ball is picked up on that far side touchline by Archie Gray anyway. Now Rodon. Back it comes to Ampadu. Furpo. Square ball in field to Gruef. Runs set off up front but uh, it's gone short to Furpo instead Somerville lays it off to Furpo but it's intercepted and Bristol City well temporarily had the ball Ampadu can't make the challenge and Bristol City can come down the right side with Knight in possession Jorginho is back there defending again well for Leeds makes the block it goes out for a throw in momentum is held up again Bristol City trying to get it up to the edge of the penalty area good challenge Ampadu and then Jorginho gives it away tackles flying in Knight just outside the penalty box. Knight has it again, perhaps for the cross here. Whips it in, into the middle, and Rodon it is, waiting in the middle. Oh, oh. high boot there on Gruef. And um, that will be a foul to Leeds on the edge of the penalty area. But just for a moment there, had they had a big striker, Bristol City, there was a potential problem for Leeds because the ball was dropped into the perfect area for just such a person. He certainly did. We got a little bit slack there. Concentration is absolutely key. Once we give it away in a bad area, always up against it. The ball that came in, you're right. Could have been an opportunity for Bristol City. And in the end, it was McCrory with a really poor challenge on Gruev that actually booted him around the head. Brave from Gruev, but he's OK. Head to the penalty area, Melier. The game has to open up. Bristol City you know, got to try and move the, get the ball and move it forward more quickly. Leeds will surely try and exploit it on the counter-attack. We've almost seen an example of it already. That's a poor ball from Rodon. Rare we say that as it goes over the head of Am uh, Bamford as he recovers it. And then a poor ball straight to Jorginho. Keeper's miles off his line, so Jorginho inevitably does the most obvious thing, which is to try and score from 45 yards. And uh, it was never really going to <laughs> cause embarrassment for the keeper. That The initial ball out would have done but not the reaction from Jorginho, it goes wide. Well, he, he spotted it nice and early, went for it. I'd say probably closer to 50 yards, but yeah, it was a, a decent effort. Ball into touch from Knight, and um, that will be a Leeds throw in on the halfway line. Bristol City are preparing a, a couple at least of changes down below. Netty is uh, ready to come on. Leeds with the throw on the halfway line, right in front of the Bristol City dugout. Over the top from Jorginho. Ooh, goodness me, that was wow. uh, Viner with the almost misplaced ball to the goalkeepers rushing towards him. Somerville's run it back off him just outside the penalty area. Goes into the penalty area. Somerville runs goalwards and it's deflected behind and the final touch somehow comes off Somerville as he was trying to just charge right towards goal there. And as he stabbed it goalwards, defenders got across him and somehow it ends up behind for a goal kick. What were Bristol City trying to do at the back, just all over the place? Somerville did have the opportunity to pass it across to his right-hand side where Nyonto and Bamford were waiting, but might have been crowded out. Took the option to go for goal, which is absolutely fine, but couldn't squeeze it home. O'Leary just got away with another clearance out the penalty area, and suddenly it's worked well for Bristol City because they were in a position to cross from the far side. Well defended by Leeds and Gruev now. Jorginho over the top. Somerville will chase, but so will O'Leary. Well outside of his penalty area. And O'Leary only has one choice as he arrives at the ball just ahead of Somerville. And he hacks it high into touch. 
for a Leeds throw in. Well, if this, now. Yeah, if this pattern of play continues, Bristol City will keep pushing forward. We will win the ball back and on the counter. We will have opportunities to score our second. Gardner Hickson is coming on for Bristol City. And um, Nakmeti is the other man coming on. So Naki Wells has not really been able to make much of an impression up top for Bristol City this evening. Departs the action. So a little switch around. Yeah, Conway will go up through the middle where Naki Wells was. Gruez. Ampadu. And now Rodon. Joe Rodon moves it up to the halfway line. Short ball to Glen Kamara. Back to Rodon it goes. We're at the hour mark in this game now. Leads with that one goal lead. Rodon and now Ampadu. Ampadu happy to go back to Melier. Melier delivers a long swinging boot forward. Nonto underneath it isn't getting to it. Gray battles on the halfway line. Rodon will have to defend. Takes the ball out the air. Pushes it on to Gruef. He goes wide right side to Gray. Comes back for Joe Rodon. Straight ball for Gruef. Back to Rodon again. Out wide to the right side to Gray. Steps forward now. Spots the run of Nonto. Can't play it into his path. Bristol City worked the ball out of a defensive position. Under pressure, Kamara charging through on the man on the ball. So it goes back to O'Leary. O'Leary again gives the ball straight to a Leeds player with his clearance. Out the penalty. His ball's out the box. have been terrible with his feet. In Absolutely shocking, half. haven't they? And they coming straight back to us and he needs to scamper back in his goal. Leeds in the centre circle. Now with Furpup. Back it goes to Ampadu. All the noise from the fans to our left. Rodon pushes it on to Jorginho. Now Nonto on his shoulder. Kamara just plays it wide. Loads of space down the right for Gray here. Holds it up. Waits for support perhaps. Plays it on to Jorginho. Nice ball. Jorginho tries to return the favour. Gray's in the penalty area. It's bobbling around. Can he bring it under control? Oh yes he can. Gray's still going from the byline. Gives it back into Jorginho, who's in the box. Little step over, tries to shoot goalwards, and it spins up in the air. And it comes out to this near side touchline where it's picked up by Somerville. But Archie Gray, some lovely close control football there from Archie Gray, whose name rings out now as Kamara gives it to Somerville. Somerville into the penalty area. Somerville! Oh, it was a great opportunity for a shot on goal. He got it on target. But it was too close to the keeper. Uh, excellent run, really was, from Somerville. And once again, I expected that one to end up in the back of the net. Another chance goes begging. But what about that play from Archie Gray? That's what happens when you train with Jorginho for too long. You end up doing all the tricks and flicks. But more importantly, it came off. It was wonderful. It was in their 18-yard box. That's where you can try things. And Archie was really trying some, uh, some brilliant stuff there. McCrory plays the ball forward and then gets it back on the halfway line spins through well he's given a free kick there uh, McCrory but I'm not seeing that because to me it looked like he'd lost possession tried something um, a little bit extravagant and in doing so lost the ball and took out Gruev went ran straight into him so I think you're right a little fortunate to get the free kick oh, yeah, they lose it again Nonto. oh, oh Nonto is dragged down yellow this will card. be a card because the ball was lost by Dickey on the halfway line there, and he knew that Nonto was away, even there was a long way to go. But he was last line on the halfway line. There were other defenders to his yeah, right. I think it was level just, just, just a covering defender, maybe, but that was awful, wasn't it? And how many times have they lost it in that sort of area, Bristol City? Dickey, this time the culprit, yellow card. So, ball in the centre circle for the resultant free kick. Short to Rodon from Gruesh, who gets the ball back now. Plays it out to this left side to Furpo. No sign of movement on the Leeds bench just at the moment. Ampadu goes back to Melier. Melier, left foot ball into that Bristol City half. Heads up on the far side. Nonto trying to get underneath it. Does get underneath it. Controls it. Goes to ground. Leeds free kick in Bristol City territory. He does that well, Nonto. Low centre of gravity. And so spins, turns quickly, but then gets his body always in between the opposition and the ball. And all they can do is just run into him, wins a free kick for it. 
Ball comes back into the Leeds half to Rodon. Plays it down the channel for Jorginho. Plays it wide to Archie Gray. Gray continues his run down the far touchline and gets a return pass. Gets the cross into the middle. Lovely ball in as well. Another one inviting the big centre forward, but Bamford had gone near post and it just went beyond him. And it ends up being cleared over this near side touchline as Somerville was trying to put pressure on. Leeds have a throw in. Excellent play from Archie Gray again down that right hand side. Good one too. Gets into a really good area. Whips in a fantastic ball. Just Bamford. At the same time he whipped it in, just ran to the near. The ball actually went to the far. Somerville, Kamara. Remember, Leeds have acquired a new right back. So um, Archie Gray's tenure on that particular position may be a little weaker now than it was 48 hours ago. Not if he keeps playing like well, this, it won't. that's it. That's the reaction, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. That, you know, that's, that's, that's exactly what we're after. Him putting the marker down, perhaps, here competition in the centre of midfield so well I'll play here I'll play anywhere I just want to play good tackle on the halfway line oh. no, he's been penalised for it and he it is who ends up lying on his back with his hands to his face but the free kick goes the way of Bristol City on the halfway line unfortunate Kruev's tried to come round from the back but Knight with an arm or Elbow, not really sure what uh, caught Gruev, but he's certainly feeling it, but he's made a strong stuff, the Bulgarian, and he's up, he's OK. Yeah, not a, doesn't look like a, a big physical unit, does he? But um, No, but he's, he's a doughty figure. He there. is, he puts his Gets on with it. foot in. I think it's his running style, let's say, isn't the most fluent, but I tell you what, he gets about the place, great left foot, really good passer, and likes to get stuck in. Bristol City in the Leeds half. Played the ball into the edge of the penalty area. Short, Melier makes the save. Crucial stop from the Leeds keeper. For the first time, Bristol City suddenly found space. And Mehmeti it was who had a shot on goal. It went underneath Melier, but he got enough on it to keep it out. Really good ball. Conway into Mehmeti. He makes a good run off the shoulder of Rodon. And then, you're right, makes a decent shot, but great save from Melier. Leeds come in response with Gray down the right side now with Nonto. Now Bamford back to Nonto. Just a reminder, this game is far from over. Leeds need another goal. Rodon, back it goes to Kamara. Kamara checks, goes back to Rodon again. He goes all the way back to Melier, out of the box. Melier, first save he's had to make all night. It was an important one, it was going in. Rodon, back it goes to the goalkeeper. Moisture in the air, rain in the air again, blows in towards us here as we sit over the halfway line, upper tier of the main stand, wind whips up a little. Melier with the ball scooped forward, one on the halfway line by McCrory. Ampadu waits unmolested and gets the ball short to Firpo. Firpo on it goes to Jorginho, tries to flick it through for Somerville. Somerville slips, the ball goes back to O'Leary, so Somerville will get up to put pressure on his opponent and in doing so forces the throw it's a poor ball out again from the goalkeeper it really keeper. is I mean some of the balls from the back are, they're just like hospital balls it's, you don't want them I and mean, if you can't play out from the back then at least make a mistake further up the pitch but they don't they keep trying and they keep coming unstuck Gruff with the ball up to the edge of the penalty area but O'Leary will come and gather this with his hands and um, bowls this one out over on much more successfully that was better yeah <laughs> finds his teammate over on the left-hand side and attack from that position begins to grow now with um, Pring in possession. Closed down well by Nonto, who's forced Bristol City back into their own half. Viner in the middle. You'll hear the wind blowing around Ashton Gate now. It's McCrory on this near side. Goes past a couple of challenges. He makes it to Knight and then McCrory gets the return ball and then Gruev just gets a foot in, which allows Melier to sprint off his goal line and gather the ball just ahead of the attacker. And Melier, round about the penalty spot now. Ball in hand, rolls it out to his right to Rodon. And Rodon walks it forward. Game is at a key stage here now. It is, and the game should be already put to bed, but it's not. And at 1-0, we've already seen Bristol City still have got some fight left in them that was a really good chance earlier so got to still be on our game right to the very last whistle Melier rolls it out to Gruff goes back to his right to Rodon 
Rodon forward to Nonto. Heavy touch from Nonto. Gives the ball away. Just where Leeds wanted to keep it as it comes over the top. That's better for Leeds, though, because that's another aimless ball out from the back. This one goes straight into touch for a Leeds throw in. Yep, they've certainly produced a few of them, Bristol City, but you're looking now, come up to the 70th minute. Is it time for another one or two substitutions from Daniel Farker to get a grip back on this game? Well, Piru obviously waits, and uh, so does Anthony. So there's an attacking option in there. Two attacking options in there. As, um, Kamara goes battling in the midfield to win it back for Leeds. Firpo and Jorginho. The wires crossed a little there, and the ball comes out of play off Jorginho for a Bristol City throw-in right in front of Daniel Farker. Claps his hands and issues instructions from the edge of the technical area to Patrick Bamford to drop a little deeper as the ball is thrown into the Leeds half. Firpo with a header, gets the ball back off Gruef, plays it where Bamford almost was but not quite over the head of Kamara back in the Leeds half Gray battling, Kamara will go in for the challenge as well, the ball pinging around in there and it breaks kindly for Ampadu and Gruif and then given away by Firpo, straight ball put into the path of Knight clipped down the near side touchline, came off Firpo on its way to, to Bristol City throw in. OK, that's a couple of slack passes now, Firpo just one straight inside never going to get to Kamara Bristol City step in and pick the ball up again, but a Stop those sort of passes. In from the far touchline it comes. Flag is up offside. Back from an offside position. I think it was the fullback McCrory. And uh, that would be a Leeds free kick. McCrory's been positive, hasn't he? He's tried to get forward. He's showed a lot of emotion as well and energy. And a couple of times, got in some really good areas. 20 minutes to go at Ashton Gate. It's Bristol City nil. Leeds United 1. Melier with a free kick for Leeds, just outside the penalty area. Long ball up into that Bristol half. Bamford in a real tussle there with Viner. Firpo with a header. Comes back for Gruev. Delivers back into his own half. Ampadu takes it down and delivers it back to Melier, who will go first time with a left foot up into that Bristol City half again. Bamford wins the header. Comes down for Jorginho. Jorginho does well to take it down, puts the ball over the top. Nice idea, Nonto had made a run, but Jorginho's ball was over hit and it was picked up quickly and thrown out by Max O'Leary to launch a counter-attack for Bristol City. Down the left-hand side, midway inside and further now the leads half. The run into the penalty area, ball comes into the middle, Ampadu slips, still there, chance of a shot on goal, good block from Firpo. Still alive though through the middle for Bristol City then Firpo again with a great interception on the edge of the penalty area and two big intervention and a third time and uh, just couldn't control the ball so Bristol win it back but give it away to Bamford halfway line Bamford rides a couple of challenges Jorginho well that's a handball clear handball down below referees missed that one and Leeds have to pick the ball up and continue with it as they do push forward now Gray through for Somerville Somerville surrounded by red shirts gives it to Gray on the left side of the penalty area Archie Gray just knocked away from him by the uh, player in front of him Viner there Leeds win it back though and Ruef gives it to Kamara this is where Leeds want to be playing Gray on this left side still onto Firpo now goes over to a more traditional right back position Somerville just clips it into the path of Kamara Gives it back to Firpo. There are players waiting in the middle. Now then, Kamara off Somerville. Gives it back to Somerville. He's in the penalty area. It's tight. Somerville plays it up to the far side of the box. It was a touch from the goalkeeper there on its way. Uh, no, there wasn't. It went beyond everybody and out for a throw-in over on the far side. Um, so Bristol City get the ball back. Well, it was an earlier warning sign again, wasn't there, from Bristol City? In and around the box when Ampadu slipped. Another dangerous effort. We get a block in, but Bristol City making another change. Yep, the latest change sees Sam Bell come into the action for Bristol City. And um, handshakes all around as McCrory departs. So Bell presumably will drop into that position down the right. Yeah, a little surprise. I think McCrory's had a, a decent game, but maybe they think now some of them might be getting on the ball a little more. They need some energy to try and stop him. Still no changes from Leeds. No actual sign of them either at the moment. And we can look down on the dugout down below. 
as O'Leary clears the ball forward for Bristol City. Firpo wins the header well. Comes out of play. Manning just flips it up into the hands of Knight so he can get on with the game quickly. The Bristol City head coach, which is how he's described. Tanner has the ball now. Back into his own half, it goes to Viner. Viner looks forward and just delivers it. Long crossfield ball. Nonto's underneath it. Couldn't quite win the header, and it'll drop. Well, he's fouled, actually, as he went up for it. Had a good go at winning it. Mehmeti was waiting for the dropping ball. It was a push in the back of Nonto, who stays on the ground. Yeah, once again, just straight through, but as Nonto was back in a good position trying to defend, but I'm just surprised at this stage of the game, kind of 15 minutes to go, we're, we're still waiting. We haven't really put any kind of fresh legs on there just to grab the impetus back. Bristol City have, they've put three players on now, I think. So, you know, they're trying to change things, trying to step it up. And yes, we have seen games out like this before. We're going to have to do it again, but we'd like to have it a bit more comfortable, I think. Uh, yeah, I would definitely like to have it a bit more comfortable. Nellier, long one forwards. Drops kindly for Dickey. Oh, look at that, Jorginho leans into him, gets the ball off him and plays it wide to Nonto. Back into Jorginho, into the penalty area, trying to find Bamford, but it's behind Bamford, cleared away. Ampadu chests it down cleverly into the path of Gruev, gives it back to him. Leeds hold the ball in the Leeds half with Rodon back to Ampadu. And Ampadu goes further back to Melier. Melier will go along with it now, run through the middle of Bamford. Um, easily won before it gets in by Viner in the air with a head, Nonto. Goes across to try and win it off the fullback on that left side. Unsuccessfully, as it turned out. Dickey up to the halfway line. A little turn and a drop of the shoulder from Mehmeti. Gray did enough to get across in front of him, put him off. And that sees the ball out of play for a Leeds United throw in. Well, Mehmeti, come on, he certainly looks sharp. He's the one that had a great chance earlier as well, but playing on the left hand side, Conway up the top. Still playing with their three at the back, aren't they, Bristol? So haven't abandoned that just yet. Jorginho, again, lovely swivel, and runs through the challenge. He's still going, and it takes Fantastic. a lunge to bring him down. How does he do that? I don't know. He looks he like he it. hasn't got the ball anywhere like under control at any point in that run, and yet it took him beyond the challenge of three players. And he always seems to be behind players that somehow has the strength to hold them off and get in front. The only way to take him out is to absolutely smash him and take him to the ground, which... Is what happened then? Well, he's a big fan of Harry Potter, isn't he? There's an element of that uh, Harry Potter stuff in the way he's doing that. Oh, for sure. Brilliant to watch. Gruev out to Firpo and wide to Somerville. Somerville pushes it back to Firpo and Firpo will go into his own half to Ampadu. Ampadu, under a little pressure, runs parallel with the halfway line, then goes to Rodon. Rodon's Worked it out wide to the right side to Gray. Gray stood up and um, loses the ball. Rodon comes in to help him out. Gets it up in the air. Nonto. Ball cannons off his shins and he's lost possession. Didn't do much with that, to be fair to him. Firpo. Good defensive work by Firpo. The interception header. Can he keep the ball moving forward? He's given it away. And then a little foul by Firpo. As um, he just showed too much of that to the opponent. Had to go in to bring him down to prevent Bristol City getting forward but they still have a chance with a free kick to get the ball into the Leeds penalty area yes another unfortunately needless foul to be given away but this time Bristol City have taken their time setting it up and it looks like Jason Knight will be over it to knock it in signal given ball swung into the penalty area heads up far side Melier's gone to gather it and he does before it goes behind for what would have been a corner kick I'm sure it's Gardner Hickman with the uh, free kick. But now on the counter, we have options on the right-hand side. Bamford striding forward. And Leeds streaking forward in general. Jorginho brings it in from the far side. Now look at the space for Firpo down the left side of the centre circle. Further wide it goes, Somerville, where he wants to be. Ball on his right foot, moving up to the box. Gives it to Nonto, who's operating just over his shoulder. And still gets it back from Somerville and gives it back to Somerville. Somerville goes back to Ampadu. Ampadu will play it square to Rodon just inside the Bristol City half 
Rodon, well, Gray had gone, stopped, so Rodon goes back to Melier. The aim here is to maintain possession. Priority one. Ampadu, left side to Firpo. Now he'll play the ball over the top. Jorginho's got in between two defenders and almost dropped for him, almost. But Beiner recovered the situation and got it away from him and gives the ball out wide to Bell on this right-hand side. And he plays it forward in a space that Ampadu can go and defend. And Ampadu just swings around on it and plays it into touch round about the halfway line for what will be a Bristol City throw in. Yeah, so just over 10 minutes to go. Just got to now really up our concentration levels, give nothing away. No doubt Bristol City will find some energy from somewhere to put us under a bit more pressure, but we need to be the ones dictating. Ball back to the halfway line to Viner. Knocks it on to Knight. Knight with the right foot. Short ball playing out to this near side then Tanner. Viner on the halfway line. Goes from right to left to Dickey. Dickey moving forward into the Leeds half. Holds it up, gives it back to Joan James, the captain. Gets the ball back again, the skipper. And then to Dickey to his left. Further wide to the touchline. Mehmeti with a run down the far side. Gray's got in front of him. Will he let the ball run out? Yes, he will. Brilliant. And gets a nudge in the back for his troubles, but that is uh, classic quality defending. It really is. Mehmedi finally realised that actually he's just going to shepherd the ball out. Is Archie great? And just gives him a right shove. It would have been a foul anyway, but once again, Archie, really good play. Good composure. Defends well. Inside the final 10 minutes, leads in possession with Ampadu. Back it goes to Melier. And Melier with the right foot. Doesn't get much distance on that one. Headed back towards the penalty area. Ampadu, offside. well, there's an offside flag yeah. up as Ampadu went in to win it back with a typically tenacious challenge. Jason Knight coming back from an offside position. And Ampadu it is who takes the free kick. Short and square to Rodon. Rodon out wide to Archie Gray and goes back to... Joe Rodon, who goes in turn back to Melier in the D. Melier looks to right, looks to left. He gives it to the right to Rodon. Gives it back to the goalkeeper. Melier looks to go long this time. He's seen that Bamford fancies it. Comes out towards Nonto instead. Nonto, a bit of a scramble, gets to the ball first on this near side. Now then, Firpo. Firpo sets off on a run forward. Plays it through the middle. Jorginho couldn't quite bring it under control. Was a little behind him. So Leeds are now suddenly defending with Rodon chasing the through ball out on the far side. Gets to it first. Needs to deal with this one. Gives it back to Melier, the best option. And Melier, straight ball for Gruev. And plays it to Kamara. Short of Kamara. And suddenly Bristol City pick up with Bell in position to run at the penalty area. On the byline. Gets the chance to... And took it back into the path of Gardner Hickman. Goes to the edge of the box. Return ball into the middle. Headed goalwards. And a comfortable catch for Melier. And that was just that moment. It is just a slack piece of concentration. Kamara, for some reason, was going backwards on his heels rather than coming towards the ball. But just putting things at risk when we don't need to. Now here's Jorginho and Somerville linking up well. Somerville down the right side for Leeds. He's up to the edge of the penalty area. He has Nonto waiting. Somerville goes across goal. And just beyond the far post. And he puts his head in the turf because that was so close to what surely would have been a winning goal. I thought that was it. That was surely going to be nestling in the bottom corner. Does everything right. Attacks the defender. Finds himself half a yard. Goes across the keeper, trying to find the far bottom corner. And we're talking inches away. Leeds making the change. Jaden Anthony is going to come on. Um, and Nonto is the man who scored the only goal so far who is coming off. To big applause from those behind the goal who sing his name. That's how things change in football, isn't it? The villain of the piece at the start of the season, perhaps really Nonto, but... Um, done well for Leeds when he's been called on this season and that was his, his biggest moment so far wasn't it the goal yeah well he's got his head down I think he'll put his hand up to say that he didn't handle the situation very well at all in the summer but he's put his head down and worked hard when he's come on 
for some cameo performances. Hasn't really sparkled, but he's kept working, kept working. Gets his opportunity, and he scored a really important goal tonight and played well. So Leeds first switch. Ampadu with a strong looping header forward up into that Bristol City half. Anthony goes to try and win it. So does Gruff, and he does win it. He does so well there, Gruff. Now Anthony, it's all tight through the middle. Jorginho. Jorginho still going, still going Jorginho. Spins into the penalty area before it's hacked clear. Gray will go on the chase on that far side up against Mehmeti, well up in that Bristol City half. And then it's just cleared over the heads of everybody. Ampadu waits defensively. Oh, it's a loose header from Ampadu. Melier's got to come out of his penalty area. Not quite sure what Ethan Ampadu was trying to do there because he just couldn't get enough power in the header backwards so Melia had to come out and just whack it into touch. It bounced up and you're right, he was trying to head it back but the pace on the ball just disappeared. It it spun up, there was no pace on it just to, to nod it back to the keeper. And Melia had to come out and tidy things up. So rain comes down here at Ashton Gate, blowing across the pitch. Wind direction from left to right. As Bristol City with the ball with Bell on this near side. Goes back in to a central position to Tanner and then Viner across the back to Dickey. And then Mehmeti in his own half. Shit, Rodan's come a long way to go and win the ball. But uh, the referee then has given what? a free kick against whom here? Somerville? Um, wasn't against Rodan, I don't think, was it? He made the initial challenge. Strange, I'm just... Uh... We look at the replay now. McMeady gets the ball. Well, it must have been surely by Joe Rodon if it uh, was a foul at all. O'Leary with the ball out from the edge of the penalty area. Not for the first time. It's Leeds who are on the end of it. Furpo just happy to go high and long. But Bamford was coming from an offside position, so couldn't get involved. Finer delivers it back into the Leeds half. Ampadu's defending. Bell's on his shoulder. And as he That's kicks ours. it off, yeah. Bell, he's done well there to win lead to throw in. Nice. Just take your time now. I think Ampadu's actually telling Firpo, you push on. This one's going to go long. Yeah, Ampadu has the ability to deliver the longer throw. Another change we made. Sam Byram is going to come on here. Interestingly, Glenn Kamara is the man yeah, who is coming on. Yeah, he was off. struggling the last, I think, five minutes ago, just stretching the calf. I think he's worked extremely hard in that midfield area. So that'll be Archie into the middle, won't it? And Byram to fullback. Yep, that's yep. what's happening. That's the versatility. That's the flexibility. Great to have, isn't it? Of course, we we had a play that did exactly that. And he has gone past. You're still here, and Stuart Dallas. Hopefully, we see him again. It was so vital to the side, and now Archie has got that same ability. Jorginho's onward header. Bamford trying to help it onto Anthony. Almost worked as well. So it was hacked into touch in the Bristol City half as we move into the final four minutes of regulation time here at Ashton Gate. Firpo will take the throw in for Leeds United. Junior Firpo in that Bristol half goes over the head of Anthony. Finer with a header forwards. Gruff couldn't control. And then it's played up to the halfway line. Ampadu goes in with a stretch leg. Leeds have bodies around it. Jorginho has the ball. Looking towards the penalty area. Bit of space for Somerville, perhaps. Into the box it goes. Comes off Bamford. Somerville, just as he was racing goalwards, saw the ball turned away from him by Pring. But he has it again now, just outside the area. Little ball rolled into Byram, who's got forward well here. Byram goes back to Somerville, edge of the Bristol City box. Running across the edge of it now. Somerville into the middle. It's so crowded, but Somerville trying to skip through challenges, but it's too much to do there. Yeah, maybe there's an argument for trying to find a challenge out wide. Talking of which, there's a great challenge out wide by Sam Byram, who just prevented the counter-attack by leaning into his man, timing his tackle well, and putting it out of play for a throw-in. Yeah, some of you just tried one dribble too many, didn't he? The pass was on earlier, but Byram, that was an excellent challenge. McMeady certainly felt that one. Bristol City playing it around at the back at the moment. And... Um, Gardner Hickman looks forward now into the centre circle. The ball is given to Tanner. And now Bell on this near side. Almost intercepted by Anthony, but not quite. Gardner Hickman delivers wall wide. Byram's got to go across to cover for Leeds United as Bristol City get the ball onto Mehmeti on the far side, almost by the corner flag. And the touch is off. Defender 
ruled on, and that will be a Bristol City corner kick inside the final two minutes here. Yeah, and the crowd have certainly raised their voices. Bristol City haven't been up that end for a, a little while now, but set piece gives them a chance to get the ball in the box. So Leeds defending. Line of white shirts across the edge of the six-yard box here. As the ball is swung in, Melier punches, gets it out to the edge of the penalty box. Still there for Bristol City, though. Fullback Pring on this near side gets the ball into the middle. Good header from the edge of the six-yard box, down and away from Rodon. Picked up again by Pring, plays it out to Mehmeti. Mehmeti maybe looking for space for the shot. Teammate assistance is provided now. Pring has it on this near side. Back into Gardner Hickman. Curls the ball into the middle. Bounces around. Ampadu makes first block. Has to go make a second potential block here. As it's clipped across the penalty area. Heads away from Rodon. Still in there with Mehmeti. Wow. And there's a foul given right in the middle of that. And again, Joe Rodon. Oh, he loves a clearance, Joe Rodon, doesn't it? High fives all round in there. Joe Rodon's goal scoring is Joe Rodon's header or block clear. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. But we have to stop the cross. Got to be better at more showing more urgency. Stop the ball coming in. And a few times it was too easy for Bristol City to get the ball into the box. But you're right, fortunately, Rodon was there. He gets his head on it so many times. So important. Final seconds of the 90. All important board figure about to be revealed. As Melier plays it up into that Bristol City half. Another change being made by Leeds shortly. Piru ready. Leeds concede on the halfway line, but get it back with Furpo. Plays it out to this near side. And Anthony. Anthony, difficult one, but Furpo deals with it well there, actually. And tries to get Jorginho through the middle. Four added minutes. Anthony for Leeds United. There's space on the right side. He gives it to Somerville, who's over there. Somerville attacking now, just up to the penalty area. Somerville plays it wide. Byram cuts it back. Somerville, it was going in before it was blocked by defenders. And Leeds United had a moment there where the game was almost wrapped. Brilliant, up. Archie. Brilliant play. Mehmedi had made a break. Trying to outmuscle Archie Gray. That's not going to happen. Really good defensive play, but you're right. We can't get this second goal. We can't wrap it up. Somerville with another great chance. Really good one-two, but Bristol City defender got in the way. Ampadu, long ball over the top. Liner will win the header. Leeds can't get the second ball. Well, now they get the second ball. Jorginho looks forward, plays it just behind Somerville, stops, collects, looks towards the edge of the penalty area. In it goes, clipped it into Jorginho. Bamford, though, will have it on the edge of the area for Leeds. Just delivers it into the path of Byram. Byram infield to Archie Gray. The first of the four minutes has gone. Gray back into Rodon. Rodon back into his own half to Ampadu. Ampadu back to Joe Rodon again. Rodon wide right side. Byram may come all the way back to Melier. He does do that from the halfway line. And Melier just goes along, swings it out. Um, towards the right side where the head is, the ball is one in the air drops to Gardner Hickman gives it back to Tanner Tanner puts it up in the air Ampadu with a clearing header and then helped on by Anthony can Bamford get to it yes he can second ball he can't Gardner Hickman plays it through his legs and then switches the ball wide where there are bodies waiting and Bristol City move up to the edge of the penalty area Leeds trying to close the man in possession now. Mehmeti plays it into the middle. Rodon with a header clear again. Now there's a great chance for Leeds to counter-attack. As Somerville streaks forward for Leeds United. Somerville still going through the middle. Somerville plays it out to Bamford. Bamford near side of the penalty area. Back in, trying to play it back to Somerville. And it's cleared away as far as Gruev. Gruev holds the ball intelligently and gives it to Archie Gray. Two of the added minutes have gone. Furpo back from Gruev in the middle of the Bristol City half. Leeds keep possession in there. Now Anthony into the path of Bamford, took his eye off the ball, and Leeds end up with a throw-in, level with the edge of the Bristol City penalty area. That's not so bad. We just can't quite put this one to bed, can we? This is not as comfortable as it really should have been, but it looks like we're certainly doing enough. Look at Rodon, I love the reaction there to Melier. He's going around the ball, just to switch them all back on and that's exactly what you need just over a minute to go doesn't mean you've won the game there's still plenty of time to see out and make sure everyone is on it and ready to rumble 
to get all three points. Ampadu wears the armband, but Joe Rodon showing himself to be a leader out there. As um, we move into the final of the added minutes, we're still waiting for the game to go because Somerville is coming to the near side touchline to be replaced by Peru. This will surely be the last change in the closing stages of this game. Leeds United have this throw in, level with the edge of the Bristol City box. 30 seconds remaining of the added four. We'll go beyond that, no doubt. Jorginho by the corner flag. Will he try and keep it there <laughs> forever? Jorginho bustled off the ball. The ball goes out for a lead throw in, so he's done his job. And the arguments can continue as long as they want from the Bristol City players over the award of the throw in. It's all time that they're wasting. Furpo's told to get on with it. Now we are coming up to the fourth added minute. Has now passed as the ball goes past Jorginho and out for a goal kick. So it's what the referee wants to add on to this one now. Nothing, please. <laughs> Just blow your whistle, come on. And with you, TD. Ball comes forward over the halfway line. Ampadu, what a header that is. Towering doesn't begin to sum it up. Go on. And then a missed clearance gives Bamford the chance to run out towards that far corner flag and it goes out for another lead throw in just where the ball needs to be and that's it surely is that it no <laughs> don't well, go too early I was <laughs> reacting Gruev put his arms up in the air as if to say we've done it and then I went a little moment too soon there so we'll edit that out later on and uh, the real version will appear shortly ball thrown back to Anthony over on that far side still the game goes on and that is the final whistle and arms are raised behind the goal and on the pitch it's been a little tighter than it needed to be perhaps but one goal has proved sufficient to at least temporarily push Leeds up into the promotion places into the in the championship it's been a controlling away performance and it's brought three massive points for Leeds United. Fully deserved victory. And those fans behind the goal will have a very happy journey home. Leeds United have come through. Nonto the hero. Full-time score. Bristol City nil. Leeds United won. Oh, an absolutely vital win and a brilliant performance. Should have been so much more comfortable as well. Could easily have been three or four. And we had one or two little shaky moments, but there's no way we shouldn't have come away with anything but the three points. And then, of course, when you can't get that second goal, we kept trying and kept trying. Had opportunities too. Got to have some good defensive performances. And once again, the boys stood up to it and come away with all three points. We're now moving up, Brent, which is uh, rather nice, rather pleasant. Not many more uh, ahead of us now. Can we try and stay up there? But our away performances had to improve. This was certainly an improvement. And 2024 has been rather good to us. Yeah, good start to 2024, no doubt about that. And Leeds United have won another league game here. Now, stay with us. You'll see highlights if you're able to see the highlights shortly. And then we'll be heading down pitch side to get the reaction from a very happy Leeds group. So the full-time scoreline, it has finished here at Ashton Gate. Bristol City nil, Leeds United won.